A year ago, Morgan Shepard led this race. He has led it today. He finished 13th. He said it was that win. Oh, that oh, oh. out of control goes Kenza. And oh, over on his roof. Get back on the wheels. A wild ride for the Daytona 500 winner, Matt Kenseth. We see Matt moving in there. You can see him trying to get the window net down. There he comes out. He's coming out. That's good to see. That was Katie Kenseth, his wife there. That's a scary moment for anybody. Definitely a scary moment for Matt. See Matt a little bit uh, frustrated, angry. Didn't see exactly what caused that. We just saw him kind of bounce out of line there. Just know at this time of the race that the guys are going to start giving less and, and Taking bumping more. harder. And all it takes is just a little bit there when you're in the middle and it's no saving. Just a testament to the safety of these cars, too, that can take a lick like that. We're seeing Matt's in second place right here behind Ryan Newman. See what happens. He goes to block. Comes back in line. It looks like he may get a tap. Yeah, he gets a oh, tap yeah. from David Reagan. Yep. Car gets out of shape and then just oh, pirouettes man. on its left side and goes over. And we talk about the bump drafting has to be done on the straightaway. And you can see even on the straightaway, if you get hit too hard, it just takes the steering wheel out of your hands as a driver. This was a scary part right here when he's on his roof for so long. Look for a minute like he might save it, but then got down there. Golly, this is tough. Yeah, and Matt really did a great job. If he goes up in front, he takes out 15 or 18 cars. So he did a great job of, of not creating that situation. Well, let's see what Dale Earnhardt Jr. saw here as the uh, contact took place right in front of him. So everybody jockeying for position here. Oh, Matt gets a oh, yeah, Three wide, three wide. This three wide, wide on the left rear of the 18. Break it down low. You're clear right there, clear all around. They wreck behind you. John West Townley going by. You see, he sees Kenseth's car just rolling over side by side. And you could see in that last shot from Dale Jr.'s that it literally lifted the, the back of the car off the ground whenever David Reagan. Yeah, you see the back end come off the ground on the 16. There's just no way to control that. It's a strange way to see one flip. You don't normally see them do that. No, but these cars have a liftoff point of getting off the ground of about 170 miles an hour. And no matter with even with all these safety innovations that NASCAR has put into these cars, you still these cars get in that right situation or wrong they situation. Have to get in the perfect spot. Yeah. yeah. Second time in three years we've seen a car go on its roof here. Two years ago it was Kyle Busch who had a violent rollover down the back straightaway, and now this year.